Hello, hello. Good evening. Yellow. Hi, good evening. Hey, Ana Claudia, how are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. How about you? I'm doing great too. Thanks mm -hmm. for asking. What is it hot? Yeah, but you know, it's curious because it's raining. But well, just stop raining right now. But maybe because I'm in my room and and my roof is uh, concrete roof. Is I don't know how to say platform. Platform. <laughs> eh. And so during the day is ah uh, you know it's a uh, fresh but at night my god you need to to look the way how to air this room but I get you to this. <laughs> Have you installed air conditioning? No, I'm thinking about it, but mm, I don't know. I, I like to invest in things that less impact the the environment the so impact the impact less the environment the impact less the environment uh -huh. mm -hmm. so i don't i guess i don't know if i'm missing information or what but i guess it's not so healthy <laughs> so i prefer hmm. the natural air or, or maybe a a fan just mechanical thing mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, I, I was just like you in, mm -hmm. in my in my bedroom, uh -huh. in our master room, and the office was basically where a closet used to be. Mm -hmm. I removed the closet, you know, and, and it's the whole space. It was a, mm -hmm. a small room. And it was great because there was no noise, heat, ah, okay. no noise. And then I decided to move here to where the um, where the dining room was. So we made the office here. Uh -huh. And I regret it because <laughs> in the morning, I'm working very well if between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Around 9.30 and, 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 and so on until noon, which I, mm -hmm. I finish at 12.30. So it's really hot. Yeah. And even if I have the fan, you know, it's like, uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of vapor, vapor coming from the patio. So oh. it's really tough. I was so better I'm over there. Also in, in, in installing an air conditioning? Uh, actually, my wife wanted to install the AC there on the master room for the whole room, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a bad idea, but uh, I said no, and I regret it now. Because, uh, yeah, we could have done it back in that moment. Not anymore. <sighs> Today, I got a, I got a ticket. Mm. I, really? went to, I went to pump fuel to the gas station uh -huh. just because my wife is participating on that thing of Puma. You know, you can win a uh -huh. truck and all that. So I had to drive over there to Puma Constitución and and I didn't pay attention, but on the left side, on the returning uh, weight, uh -huh. there was this police station, let's say this, uh, I don't know how to call it. You know, police was stopping. They were stopping uh, vehicles. And um, the thing is that I didn't notice, and, and I just noticed when I it was too late. And I was behind a uh, microbus. Uh -huh. So I, I got I got I got closer, you know, when I noticed the 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 officer when he saw me coming, he just moved right away into the middle of the street and was doing this. And he started hey. and, and and I thought and I thought this this guy is gonna give me a ticket because I'm not using my lights. I don't have the front lights, I don't have the front bumper, I don't have the front lights, uh, the directional lights. I have it because you're repairing your car, right? As far as I because I'm repairing it, I don't have the windows. <sighs> my so goodness! I, but but I was wearing my seat belt. I was wearing my seat belt. Everything so else. You're driving a skeleton car. 
Yes. No, no, no. It's just the front. Ah, it's okay. just the front. So I thought, well, well, what else, right? Whatever. So I stopped. And I said, you know what? I'm repairing the car. I just took it off for a drive to put some gas on it. So I'm sorry. But I, I live very close. You know, uh, I was actually uh, like two blocks away from my house. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, whatever. He took the papers. He went back. When he came back, he said, this is because you were smoking while driving. So really 5714. Wow. Okay. And to, to my surprise, that is not part of the the new law, no? No, no, no. Not from the new, not from the old. I didn't find it anywhere. I haven't found it. So that's really weird. I mean, it's it's not a Are I you remember. going to dispute it? I can't because I signed it. Mm, I, I mean, I, I was I, I was happy that he didn't inspect the no, car. Uh -huh. <laughs> he didn't inspect the car. He didn't say anything about the lights or anything. Oh, you know, my, if my we dear. if he would have inspected my car and checked the number of the engine on my card on my ID and the car, bye bye mm. car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that requires to make some to. paperwork, right? Yeah, I have to do some paperwork still but it's anyways fun. it's yeah but you may take this like uh advertisement <laughs> it, it, yeah it's an it, yeah not advertise uh, what no it's a, a, a call of attention i don't know a sign <laughs> yeah. a sign is a, a sign call out, exactly a sign a call out yeah from god so. if you want to think in that way yeah that i have to stop maybe smoking, it's not definitely. the time no exactly but maybe it's not the, the right time to drive until you have the paperwork actually they, they wouldn't ex inspect the engine because um the 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 id is new i mean in january and my birthday is in january so in january i renew the paper mm -hmm. so everything is good it's on, on rule supposedly mm -hmm. so uh, anyways it is what <laughs> it is i was a little bit sad i have to tell you because it's my second ticket in 20 years so it's like wow too bad too bad <laughs> and the first one no, wait. Yeah, the first one was going to be $57. But I was running, crying, running to pick up my grandma when my uncle passed away. Oh. So, so the officer was, was very... It was kind of an emergency, right? He, he, was a, he, he became emotional and he, he noticed my face and he said, hey, I, do you know why I stopped you? And I was like, no. You were speeding. You were in 130. Oh, hundred And I was like, 130? No. Yeah, you did. Well, I'm sorry. And I explained him, right? And he was like, I have to give you a ticket. Don't worry. It's going to be just $11, okay? But stop running. And I was like, okay, sure. And I left. My that, was the, God. that was the first one. The second one that I it... didn't get, I didn't get the ticket. I was <laughs> driving to Don Bosco. Uh-huh. Sunday, 6 a.m., and I'm driving, and I'm eating my <laughs> breakfast with my tie, you know, very formal. So when the the officer stopped me, he was like, hey, where, where are you heading? And I was like, I'm a teacher. I, I'm running to the class. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Be careful. You're eating. I know, but I know what it is. So <laughs> just be careful. And I was like, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> I was very close, uh, but that's the way it has been until now. But anyways, nice story tonight. What's in it for tonight? Um, well, everybody else is very quiet. David, David's watching a movie. <laughs> no, okay. So oh, tonight, teacher, I am here. <laughs> awesome, I am awesome. trying to to use the phone and the computer to to see it all everything. Really? Excellent. So we're supposed to study um, the use of punctuation and marks. Punctuation and marks, as you may know in, in English, mm -hmm. we only have the uh, final punctuation marks, not the beginning punctuation marks like in Spanish. So that's something we have to practice. But I would like to warm up with a conversation for you and a pushing, a little pushing, pushing session. So get ready to speak. I'll make you talk tonight. That's the plan, okay? 
Let's do the attendance first. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Fair is not here. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Where is Eliana? I, yeah, I saw her. Okay. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Be careful. I got you. I got you. You're driving. Be careful. I saw some red lights on the background, so that may be the police. Present teacher. I don't hey. hear my name, but present. Thank you. I got you. Hey, be careful, guys. Police is hungry. The PNC yeah. is really hungry. Watch out. Okay, Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Okay, Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto has said present already. Yeah, present. Yes. <laughs> Juan Miguel Brown Mejía. I'm here, teacher, present. Excellent. So Luis, teacher, I'm here too. Excellent, Jose. Thank you. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Great. Um, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Great. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Great. Okay, so we're only missing two. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, we're only missing two of you. That's awesome. I mean, not for the ones missing, right? But why? Because I need you to practice in a very simple way. Uh, let me go with Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel, Tell are me, you... Teacher. Are you a risk taker? What is the biggest risk that you that you have taken, that you've taken? I'm gonna read it again. Are you a risk taker? What is the biggest risk that you've ever taken? I'm missing mm -hmm. the word ever on this sentence. That's why it sounds weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the biggest risk that you've taken? The biggest risk that I that I have take, taken and it was Five, six years ago, yeah. <clears throat> I uh, I opened a, a resto bar, resto restaurant and bar. Restaurant, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, and, and bar. Yeah, but uh, obviously we had to 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 put some money to work, yeah, in order to open it uh, to. Uh, yeah, to invest, yeah, in order to open this this um, business, this business, uh, to fix some many things in the in the infrastructure, and um, at the end, uh, the, the the business wasn't successful. Yeah, so I've lost uh, a big. A huge amount of money, yeah. Um, hmm. And in my case, related with your question, yeah, I, I, I am, I was, yeah, a risk taker, yeah, hmm. with no fears, yeah. But since since that uh, experience. Of, of, yeah, since that experience, um, I think all the situations more in twice. Yeah, in kind of uh, thinking about okay, uh, first of all, how how much money do you ha you have to invest? Yeah, because. Um, until now, there are six years, and after five years, I had to, or at least, I felt free, free, 
from all the repercussions expenses yeah yeah we all lost the consequences yeah we lost everything yeah and man um yeah it was really hard uh, i had my my job yeah but uh, it, it was a huge amount of money yeah oh my god and, so sorry and, to hear that yeah. But, but what what happened? Did you get uh any counselor, any counseling? You know, like how to invest the money and we or... we had or I had my business plan, yeah, but it was very very hard because there 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 was some time that um, the restaurant was. Uh, in a good position, yeah. In 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 talking about the the return on investment, yeah. But the uh, the place, the the local, the, the local, yeah. The, the facilities. That, oh, uh -huh, mm -hmm. the facilities uh, were where I had this this uh, restaurant. It was so tiny, yeah. Tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny, mm -hmm. yeah. So. A people was looking for a for a big place for a yeah. bigger a bigger place. Uh, hmm. So, do you think that that's what failed? Uh, maybe in the 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 place or the facilities mm -hmm. uh, the the location. The parking, yeah, the location also the mm -hmm. parking uh, lot maybe. Uh -huh, because there was there was not enough parking space. Yeah. Um, at the end, all the fix, fixed costs, uh, they were around. They were greater. One. They were greater than what you call a Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, don't every don't month, worry. Every month we had we had to to put more money. Yeah, to put money. Oh my god. 1.5. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It, I know. I know. $500. Yeah, it, it was it was very uh a bad very experience. Hard amount of money that we had to expend oh in order god. to to try to uh overcome yeah to overcome the situation but at the end i decide to okay it's not uh, with with all my my heart <laughs> no the heart uh, broken uh -huh. yeah it's not it's not the time yeah it's not uh, i have no i have no more money yeah so um, it is what it is. Don't worry. That's the only way you gain experience. I'm on the same boat. Yeah. I'm on the same boat like you. I mean, I didn't expect to spend all the money that I have spent to, to repair my car. If I would have known, or I wish I knew, I wish I knew uh, or had more experience on this, or I wish I would have thought, you know, like... I should get some advice from someone with experience yeah. on this before putting any money on the project. But in the end, I I ended up I ended up I decided, which is what you were doing. I decided, and I ended up buying tools, and now my garage looks like a workshop. So th that's where I have like. I don't know, two thousand dollars maybe on tools, and that wasn't fine. I mean, uh, but anyways, it is what it is. We went, we stepped out of the yeah, yeah. conversation. In that, Great. In that kind of situation, you have to okay. There are many people that says okay, um, twenty twenty thousand dollars, and you open a, a restaurant or bar or something like this, and it's easy because there are many bolos over there and something like this. But uh, you have to face the situation, yeah, in order to to uh, 
you won't uh, see profit. You won't see profit in any kind of yeah. business. Yeah. It, it and, takes time. And, yeah, it it takes many or much time in a because um you can have this money, yeah, to open. Yeah, but <clears throat> also you have to to consider that you need more money in order to to maintain yeah to sustain for, the for, the for sustain that the business for about one year at least yeah, yeah. At it, least. it all depends on the on the on the business you're running i totally agree with you uh, yeah. i mean but with twenty thousand dollars you will have go on the cars but business but I twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars it is it's not it's not so much yeah and i have i not am talking about from my experience. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. It's this. Oh my God. Anyways, don't worry. Better things will come. Now you learn each lesson. Okay, guys. So th that's what we're gonna do. But don't <laughs> try to talk just for thirty seconds or just one minute. Okay. I know this was a great experience actually because it's gonna help us on our topic on being a, an interpreter. Remember, we still continue with this topic. So later on, you will have to build up story a successful story or um a fail a failure story but right now we're gonna go with studying up a conversation choose a question and just throw it at one of your classmates this will be done just for 15 minutes and then the next 15 minutes will be me selecting people to come to the front giving time and giving feedback okay you want to practice yeah Okay, so let me do the breakout rooms. If you have any questions, let me know. Try to take notes of the areas of improvement of your coworkers. And let me teach you something really quick. Um, really, really, really quick. David. Okay, I mute my phone because the dog was barking. Got you, got you. David, um, what did you do yesterday? What I did do, I, I went to school to teach and uh, do some exercise in the morning. And uh, in the afternoon, I, I write, I, I am writing and study. And, uh, and that's and then sleep. Okay. Good, thank you. Everybody, please pay attention. Okay, pay attention. Great job, David. That was really good. I like um, some of your pronunciation, your confidence when you talk, your naturality, you know, when you say something. That's really good. Let's work together on these areas, okay, uh, which I believe we have to improve. Um, I do some exercise in the morning. Uh, remember, we are talking in the past, so we had to say... I did. I did some exercise in the morning. I know yes. you know it. Very good. Great job. I writing. Uh, I wrote. I wrote. Uh -huh. I wrote something in the morning and da, da, da. Great job. Other than that, you're doing awesome. Keep up the good job. And I, if I were you, I will add a little bit more speed, you know, my speech. You know, try to be more relaxed. Not, not so relaxed in your case because you're laying back. So try to sound more. Um fluent but other than that you're doing awesome keep up the good job david thank you thank you teacher okay that guys i don't know if you have heard about this or if you have studied this this is the sandwich technique have you heard of it yes teacher you do david okay so what is that the bread is the positive so positive the negative is the jam or ham, I'm sorry, is the ham. It depends on the kind of sandwich you're making, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> the ham is in the middle. That's the negative part, which is the the best part of the sandwich, which is where you can improve. And you end up with a closing statement, always with a positive statement. Now, when can you apply this, Gracia, for example, or anybody on a, on a um, managerial, managerial position? Um, when you talk to your subordinates, you know, 
don't be a boss. Don't go like, David, what the, what are you doing? That's not the way you do things. This is awful. I mean, you're about to lose your job. What are you thinking? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to give you a written again. This is the third one. Another one, and you're gone. I'm sorry. That's not the way you do it. How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Okay. The way I used to do it was breathe and go like, hey, gracias. You're doing a great job. Uh, I'm just here. I was just passing by and to let you know that you're doing a great job. Um, we would like you to work a little bit more on this. Um, see, your last week report shows that you're going a little bit down, but that's okay. I know you can improve it. You're a great worker. We're glad to have you here. Let's work together. Is there something that I can do to help you improve this? Repeat it, please, teacher. The sandwich to me <laughs> above is the positive, like, right? Yeah, positive. Uh -huh. I don't like to call it the negative. The area of improvement. In area improvement. Uh, for me, area of improvement. Okay. <laughs> and then the and and then finish with a closing statement, a positive, uh -huh. a positive closing statement. Okay. Now, like on a managerial it. position, you have to f get the commitment of the employee. How do you do it? That's what I'm about to do with Grassi. First, show them your commitment. As, as a boss, you have to go like, is there anything that I can do to help you? Anything that I can do to help you improving your numbers? Or am I doing something wrong? No, no, no. People always go like, no, 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 you're fine. Born boss. sentence, all the bosses. <laughs> and and when, you, when you're gone, they go like, oh my God, this guy's going to kill me. Right. No. Okay. So you go like, okay, no, boss, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, okay. So let me see. Did you understand what you have to do? Perfect. Great, I know you do. So today is Tuesday. You think that by Monday or next Tuesday, should I stop by and see your numbers again? Yeah, that sounds right. I know we can improve this. This is simple. Yeah, keep up the great job. Great job. Thank you, Ressa. Man, and, uh, and you... center manager, let me tell you. <laughs> No, you know what? <laughs> yes, yes. That technique is the one that you, they used to use on, uh -huh. on, on QA evaluations. Uh -huh. But when you do it on a regular company, which is I, I have done it, people go crazy. They they go, oh, my God, I, I, I'm awesome. I'm doing a great job. So they continue working good. You see, it really affects um, the employee. Now, on a call center, you go in each cubicle, you know, on each cubicle, and you give the feedback to this agent. And if you're the QA analyst, then you go to the next cubicle, and he hears what you're saying to the other one. He was gonna go like, "Oh, he's saying that the same thing, the same speech to everyone." I can't believe. Same speech. That's, That's right. like your ex boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Same <laughs> speech. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna split and it you. Works. The best part is it works. It works. It works. And and is based a little bit on yesterday's video. Uh, es posible lo imposible. I hope you watched it. I hope you watched it. You're talking to the subconsciousness of the other person, right? With direct words, direct speech, but with a soft manner, right? Come here, come here. <laughs> I hope you watch it, okay? I'm going to split you now. Please make sure you provide feedback to your classmates on a good way. David, I'll move you once I, once you go there. Fernando William, I will add you. Okay. David goes to room number two. Did okay. I? Thank you. I have two Davids here now. Yes, I am in room two. Room three. There we go. Let's go. Okay, Dora, Wendy, Fernando, William, let's go. Jose Wilfredo, 
if possible, just join your rooms. Wendy. Wow, okay. Uh, Fernando, Jose Osmin, Wendy, Patricia, and William Alexander, you are on the same group. So <laughs> Dora is by herself right now. <laughs> the breakout room. Come on, guys. Went to work in, in the morning. I today I uh, I ha I have a morning shift, oh. and uh, when I uh, come to to my to my house, and I I uh, I am what uh, um. I was playing with my child. And you, you were you were playing with your child. Sorry? No, sorry. No, nothing. <laughs> and next and uh, after that, uh, I I uh, uh I drink a a, co a coffee because this year, how do you say you busy this year? <laughs> An addiction. An addiction. And I, I, have an, my, I have an addiction. The coffee is my addiction. <laughs> In you, Russia? Uh, well, today I went to, to work. And it was kind of a tiresome day because we are celebrating the uh, Worldwide Environmental Week. It was yesterday, but we celebrate the full week. So since I'm in charge of implementing the environmental stuff in my, uh, in my area, uh, so I'm immersed in all of that. So today we had a talk about recycling, and then we had some um some some other activities, and in the afternoon we had some kids uh visiting our a production plan so it was kind of tiresome because of, there was there, there there was a lot of people who were not uh from the plant uh, of course um i know it's not your idea having vacations in that way because you will be taking care of your wife while she's under this process but I know you will overcome. You're always a strong man. So go there. <laughs> I will do it in that way. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, you can ask. Good. Cool. <laughs> now leave Juan Miguel as to, to Yardin. I don't know if Yardin is there or, or not. Or, or Juan I guess Miguel you can as... ask to, to another. Me to another one? Yes, because okay. I ask you and, and then it's your because, turn. To ask. Because Juan Miguel was under the, the uh, under the, the what under the, the lights. Uh, and, oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Right? Yes, he he shared. Uh, and uh, I think it's the time that uh, Juan Miguel asked uh, maybe you. No, but know. remember, you need to select a question from the link the teacher sent. And ah, sorry, I didn't see the link. Oh, come on, let me. <laughs> the the link that tonight yeah. or the one that is giving you random before question. ah before that oh sorry I... that is <laughs> why I made that question uh -huh. to you. You have the link oh. in the chat. Let me uh -huh. conversation starters that come slash okay general. you check it now yes yes select a random okay. question okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. How have you changed since you were younger, Juan Miguel? <laughs> Could you repeat, please? I, I yes, yes, listen. yes. How have you changed since you were younger? How much do I change? Yes, yeah, something like that. Uh, have, have you, you changed? have you changed? Yes. Uh, how much? How you changed? How I changed? Um, <laughs> I think I have changed many things. Yeah. 
Um, when I was younger, I didn't uh, think about about uh, teach people, yeah. And also I didn't, when I was younger, I didn't uh, think about work on Saturdays and Sundays, yeah. But uh, there were many opportunities. I, I am talking about my th my thoughts, okay. Um, but there were uh, some job opportunities, yeah. Uh, I was working from Monday to through Friday, yeah. And for me, uh, Saturday and Sunday, it uh, those days were for vacation or for do whatever I want. Yeah, but uh, there was there were two opportunities with two different jobs, one from one for Saturdays and one for Sundays, and I took it. I took them. So I was working on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, um, and my mind changed uh, in that situation because. Um, I have, I always, I have all, I've always think of that uh, you can, or how to say this, you can't say no to the job opportunity. Yeah. If you, obviously, if you need it and if you, um, If you have the opportunity to return to social, uh, uh, to to the society, to the so society, yeah, yeah, uh huh, um, something that you know, yeah, and I and I am talking about teaching, yeah, uh, I, I have or I know some things. Next to the rain, it's very very hot. I don't know why, but uh, right now uh, it's finished to rain, but it's very hot. The night, yes, at night, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, uh, here is a nice, a nice weather for the moment. Sometime in, in the in the night when uh oh it's, it's so hot but now it's nice nice oh what do you live i live in mexicanos oh mexicano in sí, mexicanos sacamil famous mm -hmm. sacamil <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, the next to the activity uh you and I explain in the in the in the room in the big room. No, mm. only call. Uh, could you could you repeat please? In next to the 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 break room, you and I explain something in a in a big room. No, only talk here. I don't know. Okay. But because the do you have the talk? you have a link on your chat here on Zoom. Okay. On that link, you will find random questions. So it's it was just about it is, and we're still missing seven minutes. It's just about talking. Ask a question to Dora, or Dora asks a question to Wendy. Ah, it. but it's not necessary. Uh, go to the link. Only it's yes. Legal. Go to the link and choose a random question. Ask the question, answer it, and then you go with the next question, and so on. Dora and I, I talk to you, talk to you. <laughs> the other thing, teacher. That's it. It's okay. A
I can see the link. The, the link in, in WhatsApp because in my computer no open the, the link. In, in my, my computer in my, it doesn't open. Mm -hmm. It doesn't open. In my cell phone, yes, Dora. Let me see. In my cell phone, it, it does. It does. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It does on my cell phone. In my cell phone, it does. Okay, Will, William's sí, here. Están en español, así que en español. <laughs> no, no. You, your computer or your cell phone is on is in Spanish. Yes, teacher, the question too. <laughs> uh -huh. Random question. Watch. ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma prepararte por la mañana? Is really? What time? No. How yes. long? Does it how take? time? How, how, how long? How long to take prepare for the morning? Exactly. How long does it take you to prepare for the morning? Uh, en español están teachers en serio. It's because your cell phone is in Spanish. Yes. Yep. Change it to English. That's the first I thing you have to do. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Dora, so keep going. You only have about six minutes, okay? Okay. Thank you. How long take the like this? <laughs> because I'm eating during the class, but so I try. I try to eat before because it's it's like easy and and it's better to eat before the class but when i can't i eat during the class and i just maybe turn off my camera or just doing this <laughs> and i'm just like <laughs> you know but but i it's because i don't like to to eat after for the reasons for the reasons that that steve mentioned that you have to sleep Late. Late. So, it's on a uh, help team. Yeah, actually, it's not help. And I don't know. I I think that in my case, uh, I try to to eat before, but most of the times, I eat during the class. <laughs> <laughs> Today was an exception because I came early to my home, so I I had the opportunity to 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 talk with my mom, and I I I took the 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 dinner with her so yeah today was a little bit different than the other nights but yeah during the classes it was a good day without a boss <laughs> yeah <laughs> a day without my boss it's the best day <laughs> best day ever <laughs> and you Francisco you um, well uh Usually, I try to uh, take my dinner uh, uh, before, but in something like you, <laughs> during the class. During the class. <clears throat> the problem in my case uh, is uh, I'm working uh, by shift. Um, mm. uh, for example, uh, tomorrow, I start in the night. And, and in this case, I um, uh, I try to take my, my dinner around um, six thirty. It's, it's the, the, the the usual, but uh, sometimes uh, I, uh, I take my dinner uh, before. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, after after the class when I. Uh, when I, uh, I come to my work. <laughs> and the shifts, uh, you start the shift at night and you finish 10. the next day. Yes, 10 p.m. and uh, ends at 6 p.m. to the other day. <laughs> that sounds <clears throat> hard. Uh, I I I think <laughs> for me uh, I think I used to be to that uh, to that uh, to that um, how do you say? I don't remember horarios. Uh, schedule. 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 Right. 
uh, I used to it. I, I in in this uh, in this company. Uh, I uh, I am working uh, uh, from nine years, and <laughs> I I think I used to it to to that to that schedule. Yeah, because oh my god, I I don't. I don't picture myself to stay awake the whole night. <laughs> In the beginning, uh, is uh, it, it was a, a a little hard uh, because in the uh, the company and uh, where uh, I am working uh, uh, before. Before that company, uh, I don't uh, doing a, a chief in the night. I mm -hmm. uh, just uh, Okay, really quick. Um, I think we're back, right? Nobody else is missing. Okay. Good. Don't think that I'm doing this just because I want to kill the time, you know, and uh, I didn't prepare the class. Uh, no. There is a purpose for everything that I do. Uh, this is the first time I'm with you, unfortunately. I, I have to say that, fortunately, even though it is a negative word and I don't like using negative words that much. But, um, yeah, I have to say it. Unfortunately, I'm with you just this module and then you graduate. But follow my advice, please. Even if you graduate, just review your sessions. Go back to to YouTube check the advices, the feedbacks, that, that's critical at this point so you can improve by yourself. As I was telling you one of these days, I learned by myself with a dictionary, but what I had was a gift from God, just like that. It was a gift. I had always had the ability of correcting myself. Nowadays, I'm losing it. I have to be honest with you. Just like the Rolling Stones said, I'm losing it. <laughs> A little bit. Somehow, I don't know. But when I was young, when I was young, I didn't, I never needed anyone. Right? I, I really never needed anyone. It was really weird, you know. I used to say, Paul, Paul. No, wait a minute. Paul, 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 right? Light pole. Okay. And so on, right? I don't know. So if you reach out of correction, you're set. And let me tell you why I'm telling you this and taking the time to tell you this is because I have seen, hello, can you can you hear me guys? Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes. Can I hear you? Yes. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now sing for me. Mm. Listen to your heart. Come on. Goodness, you're a DJ, you know. I'm a DJ, and that's the way I learned. So the point is, autocorrection. I have seen so many teachers, teachers that graduated from the university studying languages. 
Okay. And they speak awful. And they have a lot of knowledge about grammar. I have seen students that were in academies, you know, and they learned all the grammar tenses and they know every single rule. Even some that I don't like talking about because they're too complex. And they understood it. But when it comes to speaking, holy moly. So follow my advice. Auto-correct yourself. Listen to yourself. Exactly. What someone told me just right now. Okay. Really quick. About. Most likely, if you want to use a verb after some connectors, you will need the ing form of the verb. And it sounds better. Okay. I never thought about becoming. It sounds different if you say, I never thought about to become a, te a, a teacher. That's incorrectly written. Mm -hmm. About becoming a teacher. For example, you see the difference? About to become a teacher, about becoming a teacher. Can somebody give me another example? I never thought about starting a new business. Excellent. That's it. I hope you got it. After about, most likely you will need a gerund. Two versus four. Oh, no, don't do that. We hate it. I know, I know, you hate it. <laughs> but it's very simple, okay? Just follow this rule. Four plus a noun, okay? Floor, I mean, four plus a noun. Two plus a verb. So if you say two, you need a verb on its base form. If you say four, you need a noun or a verb with ing, okay? For doing whatever I wanted to do. Somebody was saying, when I was a kid, I had the time, I had the time for doing whatever I wanted to do. When I was a kid, I had the time to, for doing whatever I wanted to do. The other way will be to do whatever I wanted to do. Although it sounds, Really redundant <laughs> to do whatever I wanted to do. Okay. I'm just recording this so you can use it. My advice is when you want to talk about past experiences, okay, try to use used to. When I was young, I used to, now listen, I used to eat a lot. Okay. Every morning nowadays, I'm going to start with the time expression. Nowadays, right? Nowadays. Nowadays, I used to eat just a little in every meal. Okay? If I eat too much, I get malito. Did you watch the video yesterday? <laughs> if I eat too much, I get malito. <laughs> oh my god! I I I'm thinking about teaching kids. You know they're funny. Okay, now in a transition. In a transition, look at this. I'm teaching you used to really quick. Okay, this is present. This is simple present. This is simple past. Okay, I used to. There's not much difference in the pronunciation. I used to love you more, but now a days, you know, I used to think about you every hour. Okay. Now we have been together and I'm getting used to, I'm getting used to see you. Hmm. To see you without making every morning. <laughs> that was another girl. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting used to seeing you more I'm often. To see. mm -hmm. I'm getting used to seeing you. To in ING? Yeah. That's another doubt I had. What about the verbs that end with double E? How do you make them a gerund? Follow the rules. Just add ING, that's it. Just add the 
Thank yeah, you. it's weird, right? Mm -hmm. Come again, come again. Gracias. After, uh, after use, you should add a uh, B, used. To. Used. Here, I'm getting used. Used with no. B at the end? No. No, because it's present. Right now, oh. I'm getting used to seeing you more often. Okay. You know, I'm getting used to seeing you more often. That's what I say to my kids and wife, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm getting used to waking up early morning. Okay. Different. I got, I got used to, when I was a kid, I got used to, I got used to wake up. Wait, I, I, I got used to waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. ING, ING. Study this subject a little bit more. It's very useful and it's very natural. See, here it is. I got used to waking up with the rooster. Huh. Be careful. Is that right? Rooster? Yeah, here comes the rooster. Yep. Is that a cat, a dog, or a rat? It's a cat. I just saw the ear. Okay. Now, pronunciation. I will send you all this. I will get up to your WhatsApp. Sometimes. 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 Okay. Don't forget the M. Okay. Come on, guys. This is simple. This should be already handled by you. In the night. Hmm. No. Nice. So, parts of the day, really quick. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At noon. At, at, night. Night. at, noon, noon, at noon. night. At night. At, night. Exactly. at midnight. Okay. At downing. What at, is what what is that, teacher? At downing. Uh-huh. Downing is early morning. Ah. Uh, madrugada. Como madrugando, uh -huh. okay. La madrugada. La madrugada. Uh -huh. At downing at dusk. Dusk is in the afternoon. Yeah, when the sun is setting. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh huh. The sun is setting at dusk. At downing is when the sun is not rising at all, but it's morning already. Okay, so that's at at noon, at night, at midnight, at downing, at dusk, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. That's it. On Friday morning, on. Monday afternoon, on Tuesday evening, on Tuesday at midnight. I cannot say on Tuesday midnight. Mm, sounds unusual. Okay, I hope you got it. Check the video again, review this part. I'm gonna move faster. I try to, um, don't forget, verbs of necessity i call it verbs of necessity there's an old video on youtube about this when you have a verb and you want to use the same grammatical tense you must separate the verbs you can do it by adding the preposition to okay i try to be there all days i don't know okay I have to, I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes it may not make sense to use ing. I have telling you something. <clears throat> no, right? That sounds awful. I tried being there. It sounds good. I try being there. That's another advice. Listen to yourself. Tomorrow, I study. Now, this is what I was telling you. Um, um, to, tomorrow I'm studying in the night. Mm 
Uh huh. At night. At night. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. Okay, tomorrow I'm studying at night. Come to my work. Um, I have to come to my work. Are you the owner of the business? Come to my job. Uh huh. I get to work. Repeat. I get to work. I get to work. I get to work at about at about at about. I get to work at about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Want to go pro? Do you want to go pro? Mm -hmm. Okay. I get to work at seven. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> I had a co-worker at a call center. She was very funny. You know, she was a lesbian, but she was very funny. I mean, I mean, she was like a dude. She was my dude, <laughs> my dude, you know. Mm -hmm. It was really funny. But she she used to call me, hey, Ish, Ish, come here. And I was like, why are you calling me Ish, right? Because I was studying. This was back in 2006 or so. And, and she was like, hey, Ish. Why do you call me Ish? And then she explained me this topic. 2000, yeah, 2006 or around there. Um, so Ish is to diminish. It comes from the abbreviation of, or or the, the, the minute, diminutive of diminish. <laughs> and to diminish is like menospreciar, okay? Make something smaller. Don't diminish yourself. Don't diminish yourself. But ish is 6.45 or 7.45 or 6.50, 7.05. You know, around that time. <laughs> what time do you wake up, Ileana? Uh, 6.30 ish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I wake up at five ish because my i have like four alarms you know me too <laughs> and my cell phone is on the office so it's i have to go all, all around the room <laughs> and come to turn it off <laughs> okay so let's move on i am working for two years do you find many of you are having trouble working about i mean talking about your experience how long have you been working somewhere and remember, you need to use the present perfect for that. You have to. I've, I've, I've been working. I've been working. I've been working. I've been working. Wait, wait, wait. William is talking. Who's talking? Luis? No, I mean, Steve. Yeah, yeah Steve. Uh huh. I have been working for two years. Four, exactly. That's what I wanted to land, you know, aboard here. Four. You need a noun, remember, so for eight years, for a period of time. A since, uh-huh, Steve? Since 2008? Yeah, since February 20th, 2008, 2008, whatever. So, yes, you're more specific if you say since. And if you think about this sentence in Spanish, it will make a lot of sense to you. Lastly, the pronunciation of the word just i just call to say, to say. <laughs> i owe you I, I owe you <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I i did that to a friend once i just called to say i owe you i'm sorry identify the auxiliary <laughs> lastly i'm going to tell you this uh, if at this point you feel yourself a little bit lost it's okay just go back, take a notebook, review all of the grammar sentences or all of the grammar tenses, I'm sorry, we we have started and pay close attention to the auxiliary. Identify the auxiliary uses, you know. So in the future, your brain will go like this. Wait a minute. There's a have. I have, and then the verb is in past participle. So what is the grammar tense? <gasps> now that's something that has to come without pushing, you know, you have to get it like that really quick. Okay. 
am I talking too much, guys? Are you? No. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? You cool? Oh, good, sure. I feel that it's very helpful. Oh, yeah. that, oh, you know, oh. that things. It's just that I'm concerned. You know, I hear you, and I go like, mm, they need to improve this. Mm, they need Are to they going this. to graduate soon? I can't believe it. <laughs> I guess that. No. Know. No, 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 really. I'm concerned about yeah. some areas of improvement. Mm -hmm. So I want to give you those tips really quick so you can improve them because it's easy. It's easy. Now, my advice, as I said to Francisco once on our session, get a job in a call center, get a boyfriend, get a girlfriend, whatever, a best friend who will always be willing to talk in English with you. That's the best thing you can do. And if you're single, of course, get a, not a gringo. I don't know. Somebody from Switzerland. Some, I don't know. Blue eyes, you know, blonde. That was my dream when I was a kid. She's not A, a gringo for you or what? Yeah. What? <laughs> no. No. A sueca. A sueca. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They don't actually use English. I think they have their own language. I know I was. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what I really wanted. All I wanted was blue eyes, you know, blonde, pink lips. That was like 16. Oh, my God. Anyways, so tonight, hope you're having fun at least. We have to talk about uh, punctuation marks, which is a loving topic for Gracia. I know she loves punctuation. Did you like orthographia when you were in school? Yeah, I did. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> really? That and math was my Achilles heel. But anyways, you have to find your ways out. So this is, by the way, on your page 19. Okay. How to use N marks. Punctuations. Okay, so we're going to start with the period, the period. Yep. And again, the emphasize, we emphasize on this syllable, period. Okay. So who can help me? Me? Sure. Okay. Um, use a period to mark the end of a statement. What people want in life is to be recognized, to be part of, to grow and to grow and to have made a difference. That difference can come in many forms by touching someone, by helping others, by creating something that was not there before. Paul Pullman. Paul Pullman. Okay. Good. Hmm. Repeat. Part of. Part of. I'll give you the best part of my heart. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a song. I'm sorry. Part I know. <laughs> I was working at the radio also a uh, long time ago. But that is oh, that I sweet darling. Right? Mm -hmm. Chicago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so part of, part of, part of. Part of. Yeah, it sounds like a V, a V. Sometimes you don't blow air part of. Okay. Uh, touching. Touching. Yeah. Uh -uh. Forget about the you. No, you. No, 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 you. Touching. Touching. There you go. Touching. Okay. Touching. touching someone. Wait. By touching someone, by helping others, by creating. I didn't hear that. Creating. Okay. By creating something. Mm -hmm. Creating something. Remember, it's not about how fast you read. It's about your articulation right now. So in the end, if you yeah. articulate well, you know. Okay. Like creating something. Okay. Creating something that was not there before. Paul Pullman. Okay. So look at the period. Uh, we have to make a stop, right? It's the same as in Spanish. You have to make a, a pause when you read and there's a period. Without periods. Can you imagine reading something without periods? Non-stop. Now, the common question among students to the teacher, and, and teacher, but how do I have to read? Do I have to read four, I don't know, four words at a time and then breathe? 
you know, or the whole thing. No, just the punctuation. Just punctuation. It's the same way you will do it in Spanish. So what people want in life is to be recognized, to be part of, to grow, and to have made a difference. Hmm. That difference can come in many forms. By touching someone, by helping others, by creating something that was not there before. Paul Pullman. That's just the end period. So that's where the close, the, the statement closes, right? Mm -hmm. Do we lose the idea? Do we change the idea when we add the period? I wonder. No. Hmm. No, right. We continue well, with this. Idea. the idea because. Mm -hmm. But when you leave, when you leave a space in the paragraph, it does, right? Gracias. Does it change the idea? Well, you cannot have a paragraph of just one sentence. Just, just points. Uh no, I, I mean you don't. There is no. I mean you cannot have a paragraph with less than three sentences. I think. With le with less than three sentences. You know, I yeah. I I never studied that to be honest with you. So that's why I'm asking you. Yeah, and it makes sense. It will be awful. Teacher, you say that word a lot. How do you write it? U L L. U L L? Just one L or two L? Now you're making me confused. <laughs> just one L. It's just one L. Okay. Don't do that in the cloud. You, know, you know the word that I've been in trouble for a long time is business. Because the double S I added in the middle, not at the end. Business. Huh? Or the word busy. Hmm? Are you sure that double S goes in the middle? I'm sorry. You see? It's the opposite. <laughs> that happens it's to me. in the middle, not at the end. <laughs> Look at uh, Steve's face. Steve's like, oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. My, my existence. I think with that word always. Yeah, we all struggle with some words in English. Don't worry. Okay. Like the word parangaricutrimic, right? Same thing. <laughs> okay. Awful, awful. Same as ugly, but a situation, not a person. A person is ugly like me. A situation could be awful, awful. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, is the name, a period is a period, but when we say we have a dot? As I said, the class before yesterday, Okay. And and it's on the WhatsApp. <laughs> oh, I don't see. It. I didn't see. It. I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just playing with you, Anna Claudia. Ah, there you go. You see. <laughs> Let me see. Are you like Anna Claudia? Yeah, I found you. Anna Claudia Gonzalez. Okay. Here you go. So email dot. Mm, okay. okay. The letter A represents literature, you know, when you're writing something uh -huh. or dictating. Captain. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You say period. Ah, uh, okay. The numeral represents a, a natural number, a natural number, a full number. Then you say point. Um, when you're the, the the dollar symbol is money currency, then you say end. End. Uh -huh. And that's it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I know different names. Okay. Thank you. Who's going with the question mark? You can help. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, use a question mark after a direct question. Are consumers prepared to pay for sustainable tea or not? We have gone past that a uh, that that at one hundred miles per hour. Miles per hour. I think. I don't know. Yes. Miles per hour. The question now is: Are they prepared? To buy from companies that are not being responsible, Paul Pullman. Who's this guy, right? Very okay. popular. Yeah, very popular. Are consumers prepared to pay for sustainable tea or not? I love the way Lena read because that's something that I wanted to point out. In every sentence, you in every question, okay, in every question, close question, you raise your voice just right before the question mark. So you have to raise your voice right before the question mark as Ileana did, 
okay? Here is where you raise your voice. And here, sustainable or not, or not, or not, I don't know. So when do we use it? After a direct question. Can somebody give me an example of an ind indirect question? I hate that word. Indirect, no, indirect question. Have you noticed that in Spanish we begin the question uh, or the accent in the in the first part of the question, while in English you end with the question? Uh huh. You uh, raise your intonation before the question mark. Totally right. Are they coming with us? That's an indirect question. Are they coming with us? Same thing. Can you help me move on Saturday? Can you help me move on Saturday? Can you help me? That's an indirect question. Did you did you finish the report? I'm not asking you to do something. Okay, it's just letting you know that I need help with something else or etc. Look it up. Okay, so as simple as that. The question mark goes at the end. And the same with the exclamation. One more student, please. Hey, teacher. Please. Mm -hmm. Use an exclamation point after a word sentence that expresses a strong feeling. Two words for, for a gun. Sorry, two words for an organization where you can be seen to be making. A difference that is reward. Sorry. That is reward. reward. Yes. To work for an organization where you can serve it to be making a difference that is reward. That is rewarding. Paul Pullman. Okay. Simple. Questions. I don't think you have questions with this. Do you have any questions? No questions, teacher. You sure? I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And the questions we made at the beginning of the class, working in couples, could be a right example of simple questions, right? Direct questions. Mm -hmm. So. For your next exercise, all you have to do is go to page 19. I'm going to read this as best as I can because I don't know where the exclamation points go. Oh, my God. Sorry. I I have a dog. I, I have a husky, you know, and he's always with me. <laughs> but sometimes he doesn't let me know that he's behind me, for example, and I move my chair. And there's the thing, you know. Okay. So your internet connection is unstable. I'm going to read this for you. So it is recorded and you can practice later on, okay? But focus on the, ar the articulation of the ugly mouth on your screen, okay? Teacher, we can hear you. Sorry. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to read this to record the articulation. Okay. So you can check it later on the platform. Okay. So there we go. We do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful Winning alone is not enough. It's about winning with purpose. We are growing and our share price is doing well. So we will gain credibility the more we can reinforce that link and show it to others. The more we can be a galvanizer 
in this world. For good, that is what success will look like. By making sustainability a strategy and operating model, it opens doors that are beyond people's imagination. We have a unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent. In the past, we might not have talked to Greenpeace or WWF, but now we are now on the phone with them every week. Who will refuse that journey? Journey. Who will refuse to jump on the train for a better world? I ask people. What is the alternative? Okay. The point there was not punctuation it was pronunciation it's recorded you can go back and read by yourself okay as i said to all my students no matter who's your teacher if you like their pronunciation yes pay close attention to to their lips because the mission of the teacher is to replicate his accent on the students make sense Yes. Yes, they should. Okay. And don't believe me. If you're a teacher or you're training someone, eventually you will start noticing some manners on your trainees or your, your students. It's so funny. They start mimicking you without even noticing. So let's go. I'm going to split you. You have to put the punctuation marks. Got it? Cool. Got it. Got it. Let's see. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see, David goes to room number three. Nadie se quede en este room, por favor, todos aceptan su invitación. No dejen solos a sus compañeros, porfa. Let's go. Hey, hello, Dora. Hey, my brain. Ah, is that okay? So that we can yeah. see the, the information? The punctuation. Yeah, you may share the screen if you want. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, so I think there is a, a period going after successful. Mm -hmm. You're right. Successful. Mm -hmm. so after purpose, we are going. Purpose. 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 And I think we. We might need after enough. Sorry, yeah. my, my connection is hey, it's hey. unstable. <laughs> Sorry. Could we use an exclamation mark? Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. It's about winning with purpose. Mm -hmm. We're growing out and our share price is doing well. Is that after well. 
Oke. Okay. Uh, right there. Okay. So we will bring credibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the more we reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. Um, there is a period after good and I think mm -hmm. an exclamation mark after life. Okay, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. and then, uh -huh. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I don't know why. I, I when uh, in these all these uh, examples or written or paragraphs in English, I I have used to write in Spanish after a period. You need to go down to another line. <laughs> it's like structure that I don't know. <laughs> I have and here is like all flat. Here, yes, yeah. ah, it's it's awful. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, it was just a comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, making sustainability a strategy in a group tomorrow. After imagination? Yes. Period. We have a mm -hmm. unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent. Period. Yeah, okay. And the past, we might not have talked to Greenpeace or WWF, but now we're now on the phone with them every week. Could it be an exclamation point? Because uh, exclamation, right. It's like stating something incredible. Mm -hmm. I will refuse that journey. I will refuse to jump on the train for a better world. I ask people. Question mark? What is your turn? I'm sorry? Question, question mark at the end. There's a question mark at the end, all right? After mm -hmm. eternity. And I remember yesterday you've been telling something that if um, the question mark will be inside. No, no, no. The, the, I the, the, uh, Quotation? Yes. If the question is like with a uh, part of the statement made by that person. Mm, ah, okay. Goes inside the question. But in this case, the question marks go first and then the quotation. Yeah, like, because it is part of the, 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 the declaration made by this. Uh, ah, okay. So we have 12 marks. And we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we missing two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So maybe here for a better world, I ask people, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what do you say? Let me check. Because we're we're missing one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Right now we have seven, right? No, eight. No, we have eleven. Ah. Uh, I mean, uh, besides this one, which I'm not sure, <laughs> uh, we are missing one. So I think that that one is that one goes, but yeah. I'm not. Sure. Maybe in the part we have a unique opportunity, comma, because people are realizing the world. We already finished the turn. Uh, oi. <laughs> you say you say, oh my god. Hey, do you have do you have 12 marks? Yep. Take a screenshot after use this. Uh oh. Is that the way it is? 
Okay. We do not have to win uh, the expenses of others to be successful. Winning alone is not enough. What is that? <laughs> no, it's... Is that enough? Is that a period as well? No, no. just ignore that. <laughs> the manchong, the scratch, <laughs> the scratch. There you go. Winning alone is not enough. It's um, uh, there's something missing there. Winning yeah. alone is not enough. Comma. Actually, Miguel mentioned that that for him, after enough, will be a comma. Yeah, definitely. Although, yeah, yeah, it's about winning with purpose. We are growing, and our share price is doing well. Uh, 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 uh. -uh. It's doing well, so we will gain credibility. Uh, I don't know, but it starts with another capital letter, right? So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we will gain credibility. Period. The more we can reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can be. Wait a minute. I don't know. I have my doubts. We're growing and our share price is doing well, so we will. That's a question. No, 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 it's not a question. Okay, and show it to others. The more we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. Mm. The more we can be gal a galvanizer in this world for good. Hmm. This doesn't even make sense. The more we can reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can ga be a galvanizer in this world for good. Oh, no, no, it does. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. That is what success will look like. Is there a period? Hmm. Well, I think that is because we that that that, that, that part, the part yeah. are, and... that's because you are falling asleep. So you mm -hmm. you went like that is what success will look like. That's a period, right? Yeah, a period. Okay, by making <laughs> I so, <laughs> that's more like more excitement that is what success will look like could be i don't know we will see it we will see it together by making sustainability a strategy and operating model it opens doors that are beyond people's imagination we have a unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent in the past we might not have talked to greenpeace or were, were, I don't know, what is WWF mm, Foundation, I guess? Worldwide Foundation, I don't know. But now we are now. What, that, that's really weird, right? But now we are now on the phone with them every day. Mm. I think that's a book error, don't you think? Yeah. But, but now we are now, but now yeah, we are. We are on the phone with them every week. Every week. Uh -huh. Who will refuse that journey? That's a question mark. Who will refuse to jump on the train for a better world? I ask people. Hmm. What is the alternative? For me, that's good. If you can take a screenshot, we will see it in a minute. Okay. Yep. Just let me just monitor the other group and I'll be back. I'll be back. Hmm. Okay. Hello, it's me. I'm in California dreaming. Hello. Hello, teacher. What's up, Francisco? Did you finish? Okay. Um, no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. We are... Uh, uh, what happened? Here it is. We don't know how we to win at the expense of others to be successful. Period. 
Within alone is not enough. It's not enough. You say, well, we need the purpose. I think uh, we need a exclamation point at this. We are growing and our share price is doing well. So maybe a period. So we gain credibility. The more we can reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. This is a, a, another question mark. That is what success will look like. It look like. But making sustainability a strategy on a operating model, it opens doors that are beyond people's imagination. We have a unique opportunity because people are realizing that the world is interdependent, period. In the past, we might not have talked to Greenpeace or WWF, but now we are now on the phone with them every week. Who will refuse the journey? Who will refuse to jump on the train for a better world? I ask people. What is the alternative? We need a, a question mark, I think, here. Any suggestions? Winning alone, winning alone is not, it's not winning, it's about winning the purpose. I think here is a question mark, no, exclamation point. We are growing and our share price is doing well. Here you. So, we will gain credibility. Serious. And uh, uh, exclamation point, the more we can reinforce that lean and show it other and show it to others, the more we can we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. That was this. That is what success would look like. By making sustainability a certain in a very model, it open doors that are bigger people's imagination. We are we have a unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent. In the past, we might not have talked about this or WWF, but now we are now on the phone with them every week. Who will refuse the journey? Who will refuse to do a train for a better world? This is a question mark. No. It's a it's not a question mark, it's a video. Oh, what is a better world? Uh, it is. Oh, I guess people, yes, people, what is the alternative? Well, uno, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I put ten. And the exercises that are twelve. Twelve question mark period and an exclamation point. You don't have to win expensive fathers to be successful. Period. 
winning alone is not enough. It is about winning with hope. Uh, I think those we are growing and our share price is doing well. So we we'll gain credibility with you. I can write here, we do not have to be. Okay, we do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful. Winning alone is not enough. It's about winning the books. We are going and our share price is doing well. So we will gain credibility. The more we can reinforce that feeling and show it to others, the more can be a galvanizer in this world for good. That is what success in life by making sustain sustainability a strategy and operating model, it opens doors that are beyond people's imagination. We have a unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent. Interdependent. In the past, it might not have talked to Greenpeace or the WWF, but now we are now on the phone with them every week. Who will refuse the journey? Who will refuse to jump on the train for a better world? I ask people, what is the alternative? Uh, the question mark is Hello, can you hear? I thought that it was hello, the one from the Roxette. Hello, hey, I had a long time without listening to that song, it's true. Hello, hello. Hello. You, you know who I, who I used to like when I was a kid? No. Pimpinella. Oh, really? <laughs> Totally opposite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but I I have some memories, strange memories. Of my mother, I guess, uh -huh. she used to listen to those songs during the morning uh -huh. while she was preparing to go to work. I was like, I, I don't know. Sometimes they I get absorbing. <laughs> I get those sounds, and also uh, Marco Antonio Solis, I think. Oh yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. From time to time, I go with Roberto Carlos and, and Puma and things like that. <laughs> but I love Camilo Sesto. Ooh, good licks. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. And if you like singing, mm -hmm. you should. Okay, guys, let's see really quick. Where are we? By the way, this is a tool core dashboard. Or no, classroom, classroom screen. You can change the the background, you know. It's not a, a commercial, but it is at the same time. I find it very useful when you're doing something in groups because it has some very interesting and useful tools here. At the bottom, you can change the background if you want to whatever you prefer. It all depends on what you're presenting, right? What's and the, What's the name of, of 
I'll send you the link. It's called Classroom Screen. Okay, okay. Classroom Yeah. Screen. Yeah, there's no subscription or anything. It's just a set of pages. But the good thing is that you have a traffic light, for example, right? When the class stops and you go to break, you can put it here. Oh, my God, it makes a sound. Can you hear? <laughs> I didn't know that. So we're about to go to break. Okay. Okay, class stop. <laughs> and so on, right? Uh, I haven't tried this before. Mm. This is more for people with audition problems, I guess, or, or yeah, things like that for muted people. I love this. The timer is very useful for any activity that you have. And of course, a clock. Okay, so um, help me. Now there's a condition for doing what we're about to do. If you're going to attempt adding the periods You will read, and if you make a mistake, we have to start all over, okay? No. Okay. So who would like to start? If you, uh, I mean, make a mistake on pronunciation. So. Me, teacher. Good, David. Go ahead. We do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful. <clears throat> Try it again. One more chance. We need to stop. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. we need to stop at the period. We no, I, I'm not correcting you on the Successful. punctuation, but the okay. pronunciation. You said do okay. not. We do not. We do not. Uh huh. We do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful. Period. Okay, period. Thank you. So far, so good. Let's continue me or another. Please. Yeah, you haven't made a mistake, so keep going. Uh, winning alone is not enough. And that is something like a uh, question mark. No. Okay, is you say so, something, something. Something, <laughs> something. Thank you. Tell so me. here we go again. Who's going to go next, David? Ana Claudia, maybe. Okay, Ana Claudia, your turn. Okay. Um, so I continue. It's from, over. Oh my God. With punctuation, right? Yeah. Make sure you read properly. Hold on. Let me do something. Something. Something in the Thank way. you. <laughs> some, some, some. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yes. <laughs> that was the issue, right, David? Yes, for that, for that reason. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, so, <laughs> repeat after me. Let's learn some American culture. Ready? Repeat after me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Nia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just the three we've been discussing before, like quest, uh, period, exclamation. And... Yes, but read properly, darling. Okay. We do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful. Winning alone is not enough. It's about winning with purpose. Okay, where's the period? Or... After purpose. After purpose, okay. Huh? Hmm. We are growing and our share price is doing well. <laughs> Eating words. <laughs> Is uh you're eating words. We are growing and our share, and our price, share price is, is doing well. Doing well. Uh -huh. Our share price doing well. Or, I say it's doing well. Ahí es el público. Okay, she she read it well. Okay, okay, I'll take it. We're growing and our share price is doing well. Period. Period. So we will gain credibility. Period. Oh my God. So many periods. Uh huh. The more we can reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. Period. That is what success will look like by making sustainability a strategy. <clears throat> There goes something here. What success will look like, 
Okay, can somebody help me here? Ah, uh, exactly. The next in the line. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Oh, eh, no sé, Juan Miguel. How, what did you say? Nose? Nose, Juan Miguel? Nose, Juan Miguel, okay. Nose, Juan Miguel. I'm just playing with you say no sé, Juan Miguel. Come on. Okay. The, the, only, the only answer of the exam that my kid got good. No sé. <laughs> How do you say that is in English? No sé. <laughs> good. Okay, when we got to go. Uh, shall we start reading from the top? Will be. Nice. Okay, go. We do not have to win at the <laughs> No, again, <laughs> do, donut, no, we do not. <laughs> okay, we do not have to win at the expense of others to be successful. Winning alone is not enough. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Winning alone is not enough. It's about winning with purpose. <clears throat> oh my God, repeat purpose. 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 Ah, purpose. Yeah, but okay. not not tan pronunciado. Purpose. 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 Okay, purpose. purpose. There you go. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay, we are growing and our share price is doing well, so we will gain credibility. The more we can reinforce that link and show it to others, the more we can be a galvanizer in this world for good. That is what success will look like. Period. No? No, period. Okay. What do you think, guys? Is it a period? Gracia, where are you? Where are you now? I think it's... Where is your boy, did you? Uh -huh. Gracia? I agree with uh, David. With David? Exclamation point? Exclamation mark. Okay. Exclamation okay. mark. I agree with that. I, what do you think, Gracia? Yeah, I agree with David. It's okay. Okay, good. Continue, Juan Miguel. <laughs> okay. By making sustainability a strategy and operating. <clears throat> okay, let's leave it there. Repeat with me. Strategy. Strategy. Perfect strategy, 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 strategy. Good. Who's next? Uh, Gracia. Okay. Maybe. Of course. Uh, from from the beginning or? From... No, let's continue with by making sustainability. Okay. By making sustain sustainability a strategy and operating model, it opens doors that are beyond people's imagination. Uh, exclamation point mark mm -hmm. or a period I will think a period right that's why yeah okay let let us know if you disagree guys if any, any of you disagree just let us know okay move on we have a unique opportunity because people are realizing the world is interdependent uh, period or it could also be an exclamation mark because he's making a strong statement. People are realizing the world is interdependent. But then it makes a... Uh, how do you call this? He recalls a time period. In the past, it's like a pause. You cannot okay. go like, independent. In the past, well, yeah, you can do that. But you have to make a pause. Okay. Uh, so what do you think? What do you think? I, I, I will place an exclamation mark. Okay, let's leave it as an exclamation mark. In the past. In the past, we might not have talked to Greenpeace or WWF, mm -hmm. but now we are now, but now we are now on the phone with them every week. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we're on the phone with them every week. Uh, period or 
it could also be an exclamation mark because he's making... you're yelling everything. Okay. <laughs> he's making strong statements. <laughs> Who will refuse that journey? Who will refuse to jump on the train for a better world? I ask uh for a better world? A question mark? Yeah. And it could be within quotation marks. Sure, why not? I ask people, what is the alternative? Wait, 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 wait. Where should I open the quotations? And who? After week. Oh, got it. Okay. I ask people, what is the alternative? And then question mark again. But you should also add a quotation mark before what? Oh, before before what? what is the alternative? Yeah. What's the alternative? I will have said what's the alternative. No, what is the alternative? Okay. And I agree with you. Do you have any questions? Observations? Do you have any suggestions on how to do the class more interesting or anything that you would like to say to the class? Is anybody's birthday today? I don't know. You tell me. Class is over. I have a question, teacher. Can you add a, a word? A word like, sorry, you can hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. There, there are a word galvanized or something like that. A synonym for the word, galv the word galvanizer. Galvanizer? What oh. is the meaning? It means the same exact idea of the noun, but it is a noun, by the way. It's like a name. Let's see. Synonym. Like a motivation. Mm, someone who motivates other skilled workers, skilled people, trained workers. So it means that you are made of strong material. You have strong knowledge. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that's the the meaning. Let's see. Galvanizers. I I I. I Galvanizers. Really with... mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. I I really with a, a wire that, uh, that there are some listen, Spanish. Listen to the definition as a noun: a leader who simulates and excites people to action. Synonyms, inspire. Teacher, uh, galvanize is uh, like a uh, reinforce, reinforce something. It's, it's a reinforced material by itself, right? You know, that's a good way of finding uh, the meaning of some words. What does it sound like, right? Um, if I, and something that I learned in 2006 was to find the root of the words, for example, in that word, galvanize, galvanized, sounds but like a material. About, what about embarrassment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, gracia. Yeah. <laughs> no, not that one. I mean, in many words. <laughs> okay. Hey, I like this word. Galvanizer is, is someone who inspires a leader. It is even... Leader is even a synonym for it. I used to use a, a website called Thesaurus. Have you heard? Yes, yes. And, and you can find a lot of synonyms and antonyms of words there, but I don't know if it will find it there. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Um, oops, I misspell it. Galvanized, galvanized, it doesn't take the noun. Okay, guys, but think about it. Always research. Don't believe all my words. I made mistakes as well. I'm a human. I'm only human of flesh and bone and made, okay? Oh, we go. I'm going to do the attendance. And tonight I'm staying with Miss Ileana. She's gone. Oh, no, there she is. Yeah. Okay. There's the classroom screen in case you want to travesier it, travesier it. I don't know. How do you say travesier in English? <laughs> Forgot. Play with it.
it was my pleasure. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't forget to do your exercises on the platform. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Here, teacher, present. Good night. Good night. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Right. Good night, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Didn't show up to right here. There he is. Hey, good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Presentation. Nice to have you guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Gracias, Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here to chair present. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank Good you. night. Good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Present. Good night. Good night. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Here, teacher. Present. Good night to everyone. Good night. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night and good fight. <laughs> good night, Capi. <laughs> Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. She slept. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Okay, see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye, good night. Wendy, I think she's fall. She's sleeping right now. Okay. Good evening, Iliana. Let me sit straight. I can feel some parts of my body at this point of the night. <laughs> this point of the day. So. Two questions. Uh, question number one, what has been your experience with English? Like, without mentioning friends, but where have you gone? I mean, like, how long have you been studying English? And related to that question, what do you feel at this point is your main area of improvement? Mm, well, my experience with English, I don't have too much experience with academies. I learned most of the part of my, yeah, like the most of the part of of, of my English skills. Uh, well, I learned with uh, at school, um, watching movies, um, with music. Mm -hmm. I I heard I hear a lot of music in English. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to to practice with my sister, my dad, and, and I have a friend that he works in a call center. So yeah, he helps me. Mm -hmm. And that's my experience. Maybe I I, I learned with, with just practicing. And with the, well, maybe I think that with English Corporativo is my, very first and formal experience learning English. The very first formal. Mm -hmm. Formal. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been in the academy? Oh no! Starting... Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I still, yeah, I can still hear you, but my internet went off for a second and then it's back. Okay, sorry. Uh, don't worry. I start in the well the last year in March I think in the inter in the model of intermediate five. Since then. Since okay. intermediate five, okay. And what do you feel is m the most difficult for you? Is it writing, understanding? Maybe the, the grammatical uh, stuff. <laughs> Grammar, really? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like. Maybe I think I don't know. 
I I identify that maybe my my problem or my my best area of, of improvement is like sometimes I think too much in Spanish, so mm -hmm. I want to translate everything in my mind. So I want to tell I want to I wanted to do something, and mm -hmm. I start to think in Spanish, and then my tongue just is blah, 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 and <laughs> you know, um, but maybe my the the area of improvement could be the grammar part i think and maybe i i think i need to to learn more vocabulary well so far so good <laughs> i haven't missed a single word do you like reading mm, no <laughs> not too much not in, it's not my my favorite Okay. But, and what's your area of expertise? I mean, where do you move? You know, what what do you do? In 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 general, you know, at your workplace. I mean, what's your general vocabulary, let's say? Uh, corporative language. No vocabulary. Corporate corporative. Corporative. I the, there is an exception. Yeah, we say corporative. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, relative. managerial stuff. Kind of. What do you do? I work with like the whole areas of the company. I work in, I don't know if that's the correct form to say this, but it's the country direction. I work for the director of, uh, of, of the country. Uh, yeah, of the country. So the, there are branches on every country, let's say, in the branch of El Salvador. Uh, do you foresee? You foresee the branch of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you so report I, you report directly to the director. Yeah. Director. Okay. Yeah. So I work with with everybody. <laughs> what was the last book you read? Um the last book I read in English or Spanish or English. English the last year I tried. I try to to read to read a book that have a lot of novels. A, a friend of mine she shared this book with me. It's like this huge, wow. and had, had a lot of novels. So I try, but I get bored. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was because of the the way that you know it's a novel. It's oh, not okay. my, like my daily. Your daily favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very important. If you read something that doesn't inspire you to continue reading, it's worthless. But if you find something that you like reading, like managerial stuff, um, motivational stuff, how to motivate your personal, how to work better with your boss, how to win people, how to uh, how to make others do what you want. Actually, uh, <laughs> have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard that book? No, no, that book no. No, como hacer que, como influenciar en otros para que hagan lo que tú quieres. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll share it with you, Dale. Car, but it's there's a name, Carnage. And you're right because I uh, we every month we receive a a magazine. It's it's uh, like a business magazine and has a the Spanish and the English version. It's like you have the, like the Spanish and uh, your left and the uh, english at your right okay. oh really yeah that's the best thing you can do based on the experience of tom hanks at the terminal i love that magazine <laughs> i, love, I the love the movie <laughs> actually that magazine's for my bus but mm -hmm. i i just that, me... that's the best thing that they they could have ever come up with now Cómo ganar amigos e influir sobre las personas. Now, of course, you can find this in English. The original version is in English. Okay. But let's go first with your main area of improvement, which is past simple. 
past. Past simple. So, and a little pronunciation, maybe I start, I started, I started, I tried. Tried. I tried. Now, when you join the sounds, I tried, you said I try to read, I try to read. I try to read and I was like, mm, no, I try to read. I try to. Um, I, I tried. I try to read. I try to read. Better. Very good. I bored. Mm, I got bored. I got bored. No, worry. I got bored. Yeah. Okay, so this is a gift for you. Uh, something that really changed my life. Um. I, at an academy where I worked before as a manager, they paid us to read a book, you know, like monthly. Yeah, monthly there was a contest. So if you read the book and you said some words straight, straight to the point and the boss liked it, then you get the bonus. If you read the book and you report it as written, you know, you do a little resume, let's say, you get the bonus, another bonus, you know. So that was an incentive yeah. to make to make them managerial stuff read. But the 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 book that I loved the most was the one thing by Gary Keller. The one thing, and I I, I always recommend this book, you know, it's by Gary Keller. I have it on, um, but I I'm always saying that I'm gonna buy it in printed version there we go the one thing because it changed my, the way i saw things the way i i saw the company it really changed it the the, the first time i read the book when i was about to finish it there is a chapter that talks about looking at the whole panorama like from the bird's eyes so looking at the whole thing from 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 up above, imagine yourself flying and you're looking at your company. How is it structured and what could you change? And so on. And man, it's so inspiring. So inspiring. So that that's something you could have a conversation about you know is is and that's very important from your position if you're reporting that directly to the main director of the branch here in El Salvador having this type of conversations is gonna wow make you grow really quick because he's gonna go like wow she's she's really into making the company grow you know because in the end if you read this type of books managerial books and you don't apply them on your company, mm -mm, it's worthless. But if you read them and it helps you improving your company, and it's amazing. It is amazing. So I hope you get it. Now, how is this going to help you? You will get stuck. Se va a trabar en algún momento de alguna parte que esté leyendo. Y entonces, paso uno, releo hacia atrás, leo un poco más hacia adelante. Me detengo y pienso, ¿qué relación tienen estas palabras? Y se hace un reto a sí mismo. Mm, estoy segura de que esta palabra quiere decir algo así como esto. Y después la busco. Cabal. Ese es lo interesante de leer en inglés cuando empieza. Uno, le tiene que gustar lo que lee. Y dos, retarse a sí mismo a, a tener esa sensación de triunfo, de, de, de encontrar palabras nuevas, ir poniendo post-its ahí, que se le llene de post-its el libro. It's super bonito. So, if you need help, just text me. I'm willing to help you anytime, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you thank for you. staying. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.